Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash malicious compliance. In today's episode, neighbor tells another neighbor to call the city, so they did. No leggings? No problem. Try to make fake rules against me? Let me play your game my way. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Neighbor tells another neighbor to call the city, so they did. Ha happened a couple months ago in our neighborhood. There is a pretty rundown house with some inconsiderate neighbors. They have a large travel trailer that is too big for the driveway and sticks out one foot into the sidewalk when it's parked. It's not an issue as there is plenty of room to walk around, but the kicker is they always park on of their cars halfway in the driveway so it completely blocks the sidewalk. They live in a corner house so it's dangerous for a family to walk in the street around a blind corner because the sidewalk is inaccessible. Multiple neighbors including myself have asked them multiple times to pull their car into the driveway or park it on the street to leave the sidewalk accessible. They always say they will, but nothing changes. Well, apparently they got into a shouting match with one of the other neighbors over it with the offending neighbor telling the other neighbor if they don't like it call the city. While the other neighbor did just that, City came out and wrote a ticket for the SUV blocking the sidewalk and also wrote them up for the trailer that was too big to fit in the driveway forcing them to store it in a rental space for $350 per month. No leggings? No problem. I was just reminded of this situation because of some creepy dad over an AITA hung up about his daughter showing off her assets by wearing leggings to church. Anyway, I Brayfly worked in a repair shop for a luxury watch company. The dress code stated that you couldn't wear leggings. Cool, I'm not a leggings as pants person. Doesn't bother me. One day I wore a cute gray dress and a pair of leggings under it. Let me also quickly just say that we had to dress up even though we put a lab coat over our clothes and were never customer facing. I heard some chattering from a few of the older employees about leggings but ignored them because clearly they are overreacting, right? How is this different than wearing pantyhose? Because my feet aren't enclosed? I'm minding my business and, a few hours later, my manager comes over and pulls me aside. She walks me to the locker room and tells me I am being asked to go home and change because I'm wearing leggings. People have complained. I'm floored, y'all. I live an hour away and you want to send me home because I have them on under a dress? I just looked at her, unbuttoned my lab coat, kicked off my flats, ripped my leggings off, and put my coat back on. Right in front of her. Dress code compliant with no gas money spent. I had an awful case of chub rub by the end of the day, but everyone finally shut up. Just ridiculous. Try to make fake rules against me? Let me play your game my way. Well, during weekends and holidays me, my cousins and friends of us will set up a net and play volleyball like we would in a normal game. All of them play in teams for fun but I am a professional player on one of the higher ranking teams in my country, besides this advantage I stand at 6 feet 11 inches so I never actually gave any efforts, I would pass the ball to the other side and do blocks on my tiptoes, I would surf from with a low hit and not try to defend much. The teams would be picked 100% randomly by number picking. The team I would end with would celebrate and the others would try to avoid me getting the ball all the time cause with my height and experience no one could caught me on a block. I agreed to not spike at all and mildly direct the ball as much as the game rules allows me to so the game would be pretty balanced. Everyone had fun cause none of us took it seriously and we did all sorts of dumb stuff to get points and it was all really pleasant. Things are okay for months, no one complaining about anything until two new girls come along, they were friends of my cousins they played volleyball in a high ranking team on the U21 teens games, they were a strong influence on everyone and they were trying really hard to win, suddenly we counted all net fouls, ball directing, and wrong positioning in the field as a point to the opposite team. One day the team making ended with the best of six in one side and I was with all the weaker ones. 
Now it seemed like a great time for me to actually jump, which I didn't have to until now cause of my height, and mildly passing slash directing the ball. The other two girls were spiking with all their might and trying to play tricks but I am too experienced with basic tricks and I was able to caught almost half of their attacks in my block and win the point which made them pretty angry. Also having three liberos, for those who don't know the libero in volleyball is usually a pretty short player behind the 3M line who is specialists on defending, on the back line we somehow kept catching up to them. It was all fun and games with no one saying anything until we passed them at the score, 16 to 15 and sets end at 25, from this moment on they would try to give a foul to everything I did. Oh you, you touched the net, oh you directed the ball, oh you stepped on the line during server. Six or seven times in a row they tried to get a point from dot me forward directing the ball and now frustrated I was like. Do you all prefer if I spiked it? And positive crowd noises were to be heard from both teams. The two girls had no idea that I even play volleyball cause as I said I never actually gave any efforts for small friendly games like these. I spiked the the ball with 110 km per hour and my vertical reach is 362 cm. And now pandemonium. The set ended in less than 5 minutes after my team was passing every ball on me to get a point, laughing their asses off with the privilege the opposite team gave me. Equiel complain I am 1 meter away from the net, I don't direct the ball and my blocks are flawless now. Easy to say they all agreed I wouldn't get false foul for any reason again and the two girls stopped acting as the best one in their cause as I like to say. Everyone in a friendly game is equal, it's all meant to be done for fun. If you are actually better and remain humble people will respect you for this trait. Acting big maybe will satisfy your ego for a while but there is always a bigger fish and people will always wait for you to do mistakes to get it on you. Stay humble. Respect everyone. You made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.